Hi everyone. Finding activities that you can do during your staycation that cater to both the children and the grown-ups needs and for exploring things can be quite a challenge. We're living now in a time of COVID-19 and of course we have been affected by that and so have our plans for our summer holidays and we decided to stay at home and as a result of that we tried to explore or find things to explore within a driving distance of a maximum of one or one and a half hours from here. Make sure to also, if you haven't already, check out last week's video because this was a video on 10 more ideas you can do during your staycation. I will leave the link down below. So if you have time afterwards and you need more inspiration, make sure to watch it after finishing this video. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I post weekly videos on creativity, on creative living, juggling multiple creative endeavors and mindful living and you can also find me on instagram so follow me there as well i try to post as regularly as possible if you want to learn more about myself and my creative work then join our community on patreon i post additional content uh, you can also read some of my poems and my short stories. There are even some of my songs online there. And I do journal my journey through the film that I'm currently making. It's in pre-production and we are rehearsing. And if you want to see more and get more insight into that process, then yeah, join me on Patreon. You will find the link down below in the description box, of course. And now without further ado, let's jump into the 10 ideas for fun and creative activities that you and your children will enjoy during your staycation. Building houses for forest gnomes with natural materials from the woods. This is great for less hot days. You only work with the things you can find in nature in that area where you intend to build these cute houses twigs and branches, stones, moss, leaves, whatever you can find. Let your playfulness and your creativity flow. This is definitely something I as a grown-up really enjoyed, but so did the kids. Visit a local nature park or a conservation area and discover something new about the flora and fauna in your own country. There's always something new you can learn about the animals and the plants where you live and it helps growing awareness in us and our children how everything is connected and what each of us can do to look after our beautiful nature. To stretch this even further, we went on a guided tour of herbs to learn about the variety of herbs and plants and their benefits that can be found in nature. This is something that I had wanted to do for such a long time and I'm glad I finally got to do it and that I got to share this experience with my family. A hiking tour. The health benefits of hiking are proven, but I think it's also great for when you have been doing quite a lot of things in a row and you need a more tranquil day. But the kids, and maybe you too, still need to get their bodies moving. Similarly, a cycling tour can do the same for you. You could also rent of one of these rickshaw bicycles they're great especially when you have a toddler who has outgrown any bicycle trailers or the safety bike seats, but can't join a full cycling tour yet. In this way, it's a fun family outing, you can cycle together and it's great fun. Dracine or rail trolley. We still have to do this, but it's on our list for the upcoming weekend. We discovered this when we went to an open-air family theatre the other week. Having kids who love trains 
this is something we had to put on our list. Dinoland. This is probably a bit specific and not available everywhere, but our kids loved it and I was equally impressed, I have to say. And even though it's probably not available everywhere, I wanted to add it anyway as an inspiration to watch out for similar things. Swimming in a natural lake or river. Some might not feel comfortable in regular swimming pools at the moment, even though their accessibility is currently very restricted. However, there are lakes where you are allowed to swim and that aren't very frequented. This, however, might require some research and tips from insiders in your area. Make pasta with your kids from scratch. This is a great activity for rainy days that keeps you and the kids occupied for hours and it's creative and it's fun. I really like making things from scratch you can buy ready for cooking because it increases the awareness and the appreciation for what we consume. It's like with the things that we grow and harvest ourselves. Those tomatoes taste better because of the effort we put in. The outcome doesn't need to be all perfect, not at all. The point of homemade pasta is that it comes in all sorts of wobbly shapes and sizes. And if you make plenty, you can freeze some of them for later. Something that has been particularly important to me after the last five months is visiting friends who live further away and I haven't seen for a while. On a nice day, you can stay outside and easily maintain enough physical distance while nurturing your social connections. This is the true soul food you can't buy with any money in the world. These are my 10 ideas for a staycation to remember. Make sure that you check out last week's video for even more inspiration. And if you like this video, maybe consider to give me a thumbs up. And you can even subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And that will ensure that we'll see each other next week. Same time, same place. And in the meanwhile, stay healthy, stay safe and take care. And of course, stay creative. Bye bye. Oh, and thank you for watching this video.